It's 11 a.m. Breaking news now. The defense for the accused Aurora movie theater shooter decides not to call any witnesses. This comes after the prosecution's final witness shows a series of chilling photographs. They were taken from James Holmes' cell phone, and they point to premeditation. 7 News reporter Tyler Lopez is at the Arapahoe County Justice Center for us, where the preliminary hearing will decide if Holmes should stand trial. And Tyler, some of the pictures were of Holmes himself just days before the shooting. Tight shots, close up shots of his face, looking at the camera with the red hair and full black tactical gear, holding weapons too with a big toothy grin. These photos were eerily similar to the basement tapes I saw back in 1999 of the Columbine killers, clearly delighting in their enjoyment as they prepared to kill folks. As these, after these photos were displayed for the court, as the prosecutor put it, exhibiting extreme indifference, the defense team for James Holmes decided to sit tight. It was a bit of a surprise. Here's what the lead attorney, Daniel King, said to the judge We've had a change of position noting they had intended to call two witnesses today, but he said this is neither the proper venue nor the time to put on a show or present a truncated defense. And you have to wonder what kind of an impact those pictures had because they were chilling. Four of them were up close tight shots of James Holmes and his face, most with his red hair, wearing black contact lenses over his eyes. Police found those contacts. In one, he's displaying a big toothy grin, holding a one of two Glock 40 caliber handguns to his left cheek. In another, he's sticking his tongue out at the camera. All taken in July, one on the 5th, the others on July 19th, starting at 5.17 p.m. That's just hours before he would allegedly kill 12 and wound or injure 70 others. That wasn't all. Police also downloaded photos of the Century 16 movie theater. Those were taken as far back as June 29th, with special attention paid to the exit doors. On July 16th, he also took photos of the booby traps he left throughout his entire apartment. Now, it's up to the judge to decide if there's enough evidence to take this case to trial. Just a few minutes ago, he said he would make that decision by Friday at 9 o'clock, but all courtroom observers would be stunned if he decides there wasn't enough evidence to at least send this case to trial. Live in Centennial, Tyler Lopez, 7 News. Thanks, Tyler. And you can read about the timeline police investigators have created for James Holmes' actions leading to the shooting. Plus, you'll find documents and information released since this investigation began right now on the DenverChannel.com. That's also where you can sign up for breaking news alerts for updates as new information in this case is on.